the biggest thing to me, and one of my sisters used to say, why on earth are you writing about war? And I said, I'm not writing about war, I'm writing about people. And what I passionately care about are all the people, whoever they were, everybody was touched by war. Everybody. The Century Journal is a week-by-week -week account of the Great War, 100 years ago to the week. Authored by David Hargreaves and researched by Margaret Louise O'Keefe. We spoke to the team, historians, writers and friends to share more about the project to you, the dear recipients. The courage and the, um, the qualities these human beings showed are absolutely life-enhancing. They are uplifting qualities. It's been a very special time of our lives. I think, I think I can say that for Mark. I know it's true for me, and I hope it's true for Elspeth as well. Yes, sometimes I'd be in the middle or at the end, and I'd have to ring David, and, we, and I might be crying. It's quite important, I think. And that's one reason why we want to publish it. This one, you know, they've, they've found a clever way to fund it through uh, contacts and fans and outreach on a very personal level. This is not some sort of broad-based Kickstarter. It's really looking for really passionate friends and supporters who have a shared vision for what it could be. The book together presents a, an amazing picture, I think, of what happened uh, over a very complicated period for what's both a long and a short period of time. Four years, if you're fighting it, is a huge amount of time. Four years, if you're writing it, is a huge amount of time. I think, to read it, it's going to be very easy. It was very good because you can just dip into it. You can look through and say, well, it's the, the anniversary of the Somme is coming up, 1st of July. I wonder what was going on and, so, and, and reading the things. And so I think it will appeal to a, a wide variety of people. It's not about uh, the armies moving seamlessly across terrain. It's about individuals fighting their own personal wars and him describing those stories. I greatly enjoyed some of the, you know, the characters. And, but as I say, it's not just the diaries, it's through the letters. The Tsarina of Russia, she makes piety into a kind of a, a system of aggression. But, you know, she's desperately scared and lonely and frightened for her husband and children. I just think all human beings are equal in terms of waiting in a story. Obviously, the men were the fighters, but the women, without the women, the war could not have been successfully carried to conclusion. This is the, the image for me. Honestly, now, can hardly look at it without wanting to cry. I get a feeling here. I've got two images in my life, and that is one of them, that is so powerful, and I'll never forget it. It's partly because I've got three sons who are, you know, early 20s. They were late teens when I was working on it. And obviously can't help but imagine. It's the idea of life which, in our understanding, is cut short before its time. I sort of have a pretty strong feeling that we shouldn't expect it to be easy or pretty and that we just have to have some kind of reference framework to try not to succumb to a sense of bitterness or futility. Now, maybe I'm just being naive, but that's a real article of faith for me. Violets from Plug Street Wood. Sweet, I send you over sea. It is strange they should be blue, blue when his soaked blood was red, for they grew around his head. It is strange they should be blue. Violets from Plug Street Wood. Think what they have meant to me, life and hope and love in you. And you did not see them grow where his mangled body lay, hiding horror from the day. Sweetest, it was better so. Violets from oversea, to your dear, far, forgetting land, these I send in memory, knowing you will understand. The First World War has been something that I've always associated with David. I've associated it when he had a moustache, 
<laughs> which is what he had when he arrived at Westminster. Uh, and I've associated him now when he's got maybe with, he would be the first to say less hair than he had uh, when um, I first met him. Uh, and that's what one gets from the book. One gets just this enthusiasm. Mm. Enthusiasm for the topic, enthusiasm for the people, and that David had as a teacher, both with the people we were studying, but also as students.